Hey everybody, welcome back. And for today's video, we are going to work on the stitch for February. Um, so this one, it's a little challenging, but I think you guys can still get it. Um, we are going to use front posting and back posting. So when you're done with it, it's gonna, it kind of like curls up but once you put the whole piece together, it's gonna stretch out with all the other pieces that we've been making and the future ones. So here is what it looks like. I hope you guys like that. It looks really cute. So again, I've got five. So I'll make the sixth one with you guys. Um, Again, just double crochet, and then you're gonna front post, and then front post. You're gonna front post one direction and back post when you come back. If that makes any sense. This one, it's also um, you have two turning chains on either side, so you'll have a full. Um, solid border of turning chains. So let's go ahead and um, we'll change up the angle and we'll get that started and I'll show you. So um, let's make another square. Okay, so to start, we are going to make our slip knot. and do a chain of 28. Okay, from here, you're gonna go back one, two, to the third chain and you're going to put in a double crochet. Just like so. Again, another double crochet. And another double crochet. And another double crochet. Okay, so you're, you, <laughs> you're gonna double crochet all the way down your entire chain. Go ahead and do that. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we've got our first row. Please make sure to keep track of your rows on this particular one. So this is your first row. Now your second row, from here you're going to chain two and turn your work. Now this will be the only time you're going to do this in the rest of this pattern, but you're going to put one double crochet into that first stitch right here. And that's going to count as one. Then you're going to go two, and three. So you're going to do three double crochets. And you're going to, at that point, this next one is going to be a front post. And the way to do that is you're going to go behind that whole stitch part. This whole piece, oh, it's, that's where you're gonna go. Grab your yarn, pull it from behind it, and then finish your double crochet. And that's how you front post. You're gonna do another front post, same thing. So, and that's how it 
should look. Now in the next two, you're going to do a regular double crochet in the top. Like so. And then another two front posts. So, again, another two regular double crochets. Now for this, you're going to do four front posts. two regular double crochets. And then again, two more front posting. Two more regular. Two more front post. And then three regular doubles. And then you've got to do your turning chain, which is going to be on this right here. Like so. Chain two, turn your work. So this is the back. That's how that should look. There's the front. And that's two rows done. Make sure to mark. Okay. So, you've already made your turning chain. So now you're going to go into the second stitch right here. And you're going to do three double crochets. And now we're going to back post. And the way we do that is yarn over. You're going to find that post that you did. It's right here. And you're going to go behind your work. You're going to come through and push that post. So your work is like this. But see, it's on. You can see it bring that through like so again your post is right here so you're going to come in front of it pushing it out to the back just like that and then these are the regular the two regular double crochets And then two more back posts. Just 
just like so. Two regular crochets, or double crochets, excuse me. And then this is where you're gonna do your back posting four, for four stitches. That I split my yarn. Okay, so there's your four. Now we're going to go back to doing two regular double crochets. Two back posts. Two regular double crochets. Now for two more back posts. three double crochet and then your turning chain Chain two and turn. Mark your row, and that's what you should have after three rows. At this point, you will definitely be able to tell what side is front posting and what side is back posting. So obviously we're going to front post this row. Again, we're going to start in that second stitch. One, two, and three.
Okay, so from here, go ahead and repeat rows three and four all the way until you completed 13. Your finishing tail will be on the same side as your starting tail. Once you make it to that point when you're ready to finish off, then we'll, we'll come back and we'll finish off your square. Okay, so we're back to finish off. And I've got just my last three regular crochets plus my turning chain. One, two, three. And my turning chain. Like so. So now you're just going to do one chain, cut your yarn, and pull through. And that's how you finish off. So this is how your work is going to look once completed. Like I said, it does bunch up, but once we put everything together, that will stop. So there you go. Okay, you guys, so now you guys know this one. That is my squirrel crazy. It's his dinner time, so bunch of almonds. <laughs> He's happy. So we've got our squares. Ah. So hope you guys enjoy this one. I think it looks fun because of the design in it. I like it. I hope you guys like it too. Like I said, it's going to stretch. So when it does, that's what it'll, it'll look like. Okay, so thank you, you guys, for tuning in for the next stitch. I hope you guys have fun with this one. Um, any questions, leave it down in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help out. Uh, so on that note, don't forget to click on that pretty red button right there. It says subscribe. Give me a thumbs up so I know that you like this stitch. And also, definitely want to click on the little notification bell. That way, every time I upload for the next stitch, YouTube will let you know. So, on that note, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to wear your masks in public. And I will see you on my next video. Bye!